Good morning you beautiful peeps. As you see here on this video, our JLB Cheetah had quite a beating on our last uh, YouTube video shoot. So today I'm going to attempt to repair the damage. Okay, welcome to the blue mat. Right, let's get on. Now, one of the things that I am going to do is I'm going to super glue it. Not for strength, it's just to hold everything into position before I use these. Now, some of you out there are gonna say, but John, why don't I just buy a new mount? Well, yes, you could. And then you've got to wait for how long it's gonna to take to get to you. But if you have these at home, which I recommend that everybody that has an RC car has at home available all of the time, uh, it means that you can do repairs like this at any point and it will keep you running. But then you're all gonna say, but John, you're not saving us money because you've got to buy this. And then I'd say, aha, but, I love talking to myself. <laughs> this thing here, this set here, you see the bottle size, it's not exactly big. This cost me a dollar on eBay. And I have used this for so many jobs, and I'm what? I've still got one third left. So it's not expensive stuff, and I, I recommend that you all buy it. The one thing I would say is I bought the one that um, you heat to 62 degrees C. They both do it around 62 degrees C. And here in Malta, in the summer, when it gets warm, sometimes it causes this stuff to reheat itself. I don't know how, because the air temperature is like 35, but one of them was actually on a garden hose, and that was laid on the ground, and I have tested the ground before, and it's sort of 55 degrees C, so I can see that at some points it could get up even higher. So the stuff that um, uh, goes up to 100 C, I suggest that you buy that instead. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's well worth having. But as I said, you don't need a lot. Buy, don't buy a huge bag, buy a small bag, a small bottle, whatever you can get your hands onto. Okay, uh, I'll just grab the um, ZD Racing, just to show you a repair I did before. This is this stuff, it goes really pliable like plasticine. Put it on, and this, these two were both completely snapped off, and now it's rock solid, and it's still holding. So it can be used on so many things. So anyway, JLB Cheetah. What we need to do is make sure that everything fits still, which hopefully it does. No. Uh -huh. Okay, am I just being really dunce today? Oh, there we go. No, what's going on? Brain fart deluxe, huh? You can tell it's Sunday morning, can't you? There we go, right, so. That's how it fits like that, and then this diddy bit goes in afterwards, and I am gonna use all of the bits because that will add to the, the overall strength. But what I wouldn't usually do, but I am gonna do this time, is I'm gonna drill some holes down here so that the actual, um, this stuff can grip itself, and obviously it's got that nice grip there anyway, but why not add a little bit more to it? I don't need one that size, that's for sure. So, let's just do a few holes. Not too many, you don't want to sort of weaken it too much. I'm gonna grab the other one. Please bear with me. a ducky there we go right now as I said I am gonna just glue these parts I need to make sure that everything fits nice which that does so new glue this 
This is not for structural strength, this is literally just to hold it where I need it to be held. In the um, crash where it was torn off, none of the screws or bolts have been sort of pulled out, so I don't have to worry about that. That diddy bit goes in that, so. I want to try and avoid getting super glue on my fingers today, but I know I'm going to at some point, so. Just have to try and avoid actually sticking myself to it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to be covered anyway. Right, now. As I need to heat this stuff up, I need to run down and boil the kettle, but that's good because it gives this chance to uh, all harden up a little bit, a little bit. So, and then I'll show you how this lot works. Nice. The intention is to put it through this gap here and then just sort of crimp it all together. So I'm gonna need, you know, quite a fair amount. Maybe there's enough room to put it over that one as well, which will give it a lot of grip. Yes, there's loads of room, so I'm gonna wrap it around this one as well to give it a nice, nice you know, grip, because then it'll hold that bar to this bar here, which will give us maximum strength. Wonderful, okay, I shove out and boil the kettle, and I shall see you all soon. Hello and welcome back. Hot water, spin, and this stuff. As you can see on my unopened packet, it's called White Morph, but different suppliers have got different names for it. I'm gonna do quite a lot this time, because it's quite a lot of an area I need to cover. You can do it in stages, so you can just do a little bit, then let it harden, and then do the next stage, so. Okay, watch this stuff. I put it in the hot water. Slowly. There we go. See how it's all see-through now? That means it is good to go. So, you need to try and get as much of the excess off as possible. Remember that this is warm. Don't tell your wife you've ruined one of the kitchen spoons. To get the water out of this, do not be tempted to put that onto that. They stick and it's a pain in the butt. Look at this stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. Love it. Right. Let's put some of this through first. Come on. There we go. Put it down, let it grip. Let's flatten this out as well. You've got to work quite quickly, but not so quickly that it's like a big panic. So take your time, make it look nice and pretty. Remember on the bits where I've drilled, I want them to sort of touch, so I am pushing them in quite hard there. There we go. Push it up to the edges there. 
Nice. Now, watch that dry. No, cool. Arr! Look at that. It has, John be careful, cooled. It hasn't dried, it's cooled. There we go. And you can see, I mean, I can still feel a little bit of heat, so I could probably leave it a little bit longer. I'm not gonna go through snapping it and whatnot, but. Rock hard, it's like rock hard, man. So. Let's get the car over. Ooh. After it's beating from hell with Colin. Da, da, da. Push it in. This was once in one piece. Look at it. Ripped off the googly eyes. So we have the bolts here. I'm not going to tighten them all up 100% just no. Let me take it away. Still not easy to see for you guys, sorry about that. Hopefully you can now see down and through. Finally got it lined up. Sorry, this is such a big car to work on, it's so hard to keep it in shot. There we go, and the other side. There don't go. And remember, this, is, uh, this isn't just like for wings, this isn't just for pillars. You can literally use this on everything on your RC car. I don't know if it's sort of shockproof in the respect of, you know, using it on like a suspension uh, swing arm or anything like that. I don't know if it's got that type of structural strength, but... There's it now resting on its wing. And then let's turn it over. One repaired rear wing. Beautiful. And that's it, ladies and gents. Honestly, pick this stuff up. I use it on everything. And it's not just RC cars. I use it all, all around the house for, for pretty much anything. And you can also use it for sort of almost prototyping. 
you know, if you, if you, like I've noticed that some people are using it for, oh, what was that stuff? You could get that plasticine stuff that um, everybody went mad for for a while in different colours. If you remember what it was, and yet I think there was mostly advertised for like, you know, creating new PlayStation grips on the thumb grips and whatnot. Really expensive. Sticker, 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 whatever. Um, but this stuff works equally as well. It's not a rubbery feel, be aware of that. It's obviously a, a hard plastic, but you can use it on anything. You can use it on anything and it sticks to most things, but I always try to, as I said, drill through to get that little bit more extra grip to it. So, there you go, ladies and gents. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well, please. You know, it's always nice when those figures are going up. Makes me feel a nice and warm inside. And have a great day today. You take care of yourselves.